<clears throat> Meryl Gigi, good question. How would someone combat a demon attack like the one you describe? Well, I'm going to tell you now, Meryl. When I, when I am confronted with, with a violent situation, in my younger days, I immediately went on the attack. I immediately, I, I, if I even perceived somebody in prison was even looking at me wrong, I instantly just took off. Got a reputation for it. And yes, I got my ass beat many times. But the very fact that I would be impulsive enough to not care if I got an ass whooping, I just took off on somebody, kept people from, it kept people second guessing. Like, man, you know what? I'm just going to leave that dumb, I'm going to leave that dumb boy alone. Because he's got no understanding, and when he gets wired up, he is straight ignorant with his punches, and I'm not fixing to sub subject myself to that. So that was my younger days. But as I've gotten older, I get very, very calm and quiet right before I explode into violence. And that taught me something. It taught me that, one, once I, once I rein in my emotions, then I can harness my true power. And I can do what I need to do when I need to do it. But it also taught me that we're being observed. And in the case of a demonic attack, I would want to apply that method. I would want to get quiet and I would want to observe because I don't believe that these demonic attacks will continue if you're not participating. You understand what I'm saying? Over and over and over, I've brought to you guys' attention that many of the conflicts in life happen to us. They unfold. All this nefarious, negative stuff happens to us because we find ourselves as participants. But if I'm not looking for a fight, how is it going to be brought against me? I mean, really, a man on the street knows if somebody's ready to fight you, then Everything's good after that. No matter who wins the fight, both are walking away. But if a man isn't willing to raise up his fists and, and show any type of aggression and you walk up on him and you hit him in the jaw and the mouth, you've now, you've now crossed the line. You've now put yourself in the position for years and years of consequences. That's assault. It's a totally different phenomenon. Spiritual world works the exact same way. Exact same way. Remember, what you resist persists. Those type of demon attacks happen because somebody is vibrating on a, on a frequency of such fear that it invites, it invites the terror when this being or this whatever this is, spirit essence, manifests within the optical range and then people lash out get scared whatever which which allows it to allows it more power to act against you think about the animal kingdom how many animals automatic we're talking about herbivores herbivores don't even eat meat but how many herbivores run after you if you exhibit fear and turn around and show them your back and then run away I'm going to tell you now, a buck is going to chase you. It's not the only one. So will a heart. Yeah, so will a kangaroo. Yeah, they're going to chase you. But if you exhibit no fear at the same time that you're not doing anything threatening, even a bear will only look at you curiously. But as soon as you, you come to my property and you, you show any signs of fear, my dogs pick up on it quick quick. I don't believe the spiritual world is any different at all.